It is April 15th, 2013. Welcome to Much Ado About Dota. I'm Spitwad. I'm here with Liquid Bulba, Dignitas AY2000, Monolith, and our special guest today is Eternal Envy. Want to start the show by uh, saying our hearts go out to everyone in Boston and hope everything gets cleaned up as good as possible over there. Um, we did not have a show here last week, uh, so we're going to be talking a little bit about things from two weeks ago, but we will mostly focus on the news from this week. How you doing, Jackie? I'm um, doing pretty good. Pretty damn sleepy, G1. Yeah. Thanks why, for, why thanks. guys? Why 4 a.m.? Thanks for coming on the show last minute, despite whatever kind of weird sleep schedule you have to be on right now. Um, I've heard a lot of complaints from everyone about the schedule of G1 League, but it is what it is. Uh, let's jump right into uh, some tournament news and results today. Star Ladder, we had Fnatic uh, versus the Alliance in the finals, which the Alliance won, formerly NTH. Sam, did you watch that game, Star Ladder finals? Which one? Uh, the... The finals. Yeah. Which game? <laughs> the NTH, the the NTH we'll, we'll, game. Let's we'll yeah. start from the beginning. What do you think about I did, the series? I did. I did watch the finals, buddy. Of course you did. So what do you think about the series? It was, uh, uh, the first game was pretty good. Um, NTH was practicing a strat actually versus us a lot with the Lesh and Ogre and Tree. And uh, we told them it was pretty decent. But you can't really mess up a fight or something because then you have a useless tree in. So they used it. And then they had a pretty lead, good lead. And then there were some bad fights. Bulldog got caught up by this bat rider. And then that was it. They lost. There were some good uh, um, puck initiations. And Come on, was this an earth shaker? Oh, yeah, the earth shaker did well, too. That was, yeah. like, turning point. Dude, how how did he, he say he didn't watch the games and now he's, like, talking about it? <laughs> I, I, no, I didn't say that. I thought you said you didn't watch the game. No, of that was a different game. This is fucking oh. EE, man. He watches every game. Sorry, forgive me, buddy. You did invent S4. You gotta watch your Frankenstein monster. Jack, what a can, you, can you what tilt a, your a, camera down a little bit? Turn my camera down? Yeah, sure. just like tilt it down a little. Thank you. Much better. EE, how do you feel about inventing S4? Like, where did you find him? Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Did I did I not help you invent him though? Like, did I not? No, like, you didn't do shit, man. Dude, I helped you out, dude. I gotta no, like, you, look. Did, you, you. The only thing I remember you did like a long time ago was play me one on one mid, and Volker first Rubik, and that was the only thing we ever played other than uh, C9DO, where you pause the game and flame everyone, and unpause the game, and then when we unpause the game, you repause the game. You're like, yo, I'm not done flaming yet. <laughs> Let me keep my flame. And then you fucking pause the game again in flame. <laughs> I remember what you've ever done to me. I just go. Christ. <laughs> Thoughts, Bulba? It's whatever, it's whatever. It was a long time ago. This was uh, my EG days. Have you changed? The the best. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Have you changed? Yeah, I've changed, dude. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> you don't don't pull it out. Think about this uh, carefully, Sam. Have you I, changed? I have changed. I, I have Just, changed in, to the extent where if it actually like matters, like it's actually a stupid mistake. Oh, then it's something. So it still happens. Occasionally, it happens to you too, E. Don't lie. I've seen yeah. your stream sometimes. Yeah, except when I pause the game, I actually like, like stop them from doing something stupid instead of just like hardcore flaming them and not changing anything. Whatever, buddy. Oh, did it? Did it just get posted? I think it just got posted. How we get from this? Sam to told me I wasn't allowed to play it on on stream. How we, how we get from this to? I mean, the antique uh, versus Fnatic final to this. It it was gonna happen regardless. <laughs> oh yeah, it just got posted. Okay, okay. Shout out to you S four. Can I at least take the credit for Artizi, please? Please. I, I found him too. Dude, are you gonna seriously take credit? No, no, no. We, we, we all, all get some credit. Okay, that was together. Yeah. You're, you're the mom and I'm the dad. Mod, don't do it. <laughs> Bulba said he quits if we play that on, on the stream. But everyone in chat can go watch or listen to it. 
No, you can't give birth to that guy. You gotta make him from fucking test tubes and shit. <laughs> what a what a is player. Is he that good? Is he a test tube player? Dude, he is. He is I'm telling you right now, dude. He is the biggest thrower in all of life. The first ten minutes, dude. He's like, he's like Allen Iverson, two thousand. What is he after the first ten minutes? I got, I got no idea. Give me a shitty basketball player. Oh damn! Oh damn! All right, we'll save it. We'll save it for later. Back to the Starlighter Finals. Are we doing that still? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Well, we're we're not done yet. We we just got on like the first game, and then and then recap, people recap had to take credit game. for. Oh, the re okay. the second game was at Spectre Strat, which is pretty cool. That was that was actually a pretty. Yo, cool. who What's the up, fuck is flaming Dikembe Mutombo? That guy's dope. Up? Anyways, ban him. I don't know. Can I ban this guy? He has Mob in his name also. What, Get him out of here. Oh god, what? I'm gonna ban him. Can I ban him? I'm gonna do it. You can time him out. Okay, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna. I, oh shit! Wait, hold on. I can give him a tumbo wag too. So Dikembe Mutombo thinks about you. All right. Was the second game the first No Tail game? What? Was that like the first, first No Tail game? That was, was that when No Tail happened. Think. Actually, oh, was it, was it, it, it was his RP, remember? The no -tail RP? It was where the no-tail RP started, the second game? Yeah, I think remember so. S4 was Puck and he like went ham? Remember that? He... Yep. It really, it, it, it really sucks though, like he... No-tail is definitely like... The most clutch, clutch... Like I think he's the best player on that team. And for him to under, underperform in the finals of Starler is really rare because... I mean, that team's so many lands. And from talking to them at like four and dream back, that you know they're they're pretty confident in their skills in land, and they say they never choke, and that's the first time I've ever seen No Tail choke, and it just ha happened to be in the finals two games in a row. The thing is, they switched him into mid like so recently, right? Like they're sw basically switching him to a different role during a land, and even if he's capable of playing in that, playing a new role is really hard just during a land. I mean, I'm sure he. He he played um, mid during practice, and he used to be yeah, a mid. But how, how long do you think they practiced for with him as mid? Because I feel like a week or so before that, Hani was still playing mid, right? Okay, yeah. I guess. Like they didn't well, have I mean, time to adapt to that. I think that was a really big mistake. It was the game the where um, the enchantress went. The, the enchantress they threw the game versus Virtus Pro. That's when officially that was the last game Hani played mid. I think it was his puck, and he got completely yeah. crushed on by Crazy's Batrider or whatever. But the thing is that game. That's when like No Tail played Enchantress, right? And he went Mask of Madness or something for a item. Yeah, and, and he, he, went, he maxed Enchantress. He, he maxed. He maxes. He maxed all his skills. He actually didn't get any stats, so he threw out like six Impedices and just ran out of mana and did nothing. So I, I don't know about that one. Did he have a Cuddle at least? No, he just he just threw out Impedices and was useless. Like no stats at all. Max Enchant, Max Heal, Max Untouchable. AUI invent brought the stat en enchantress build. Not happy no, with no tail performance. That was me. That was me. I, don't, I don't claim. Th I don't. I don't claim. No, I think like a lot of people did that before. But Tide Sip for because it was at least. No, no, no. I, I don't. I don't take credit for stuff that I haven't invented. Like some guy named Sam. Oh, I see. But that, well, I'm, not, I'm not that big of a scumbag, you know. You don't want to be like that. That's a terrible thing to do. Hey, hey! If you're gonna drag me into this ease on that shit too, so. the, the the way I look at it is like in StarCraft um, one, how like when you talk about the Beastu build or whatever build, generally those guys didn't invent the build. It's yeah, they they, they, were, they were the one that popularized it, and they they get the name from that. So I think in that sense, uh, that's why I think you're the one who invented it. Well, yeah. Kills was the one who invented. Oh yeah. well. I mean, Tides did with some, a lot of success on our team before that, but Kizzo's actually played it really well as well on our team, so yeah, I guess one of them should take credit for that. So we still haven't <laughs> talked about the game? <laughs> yeah, we're still talking Starlight okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I, I didn't really like the games in Starlight or Finals. I thought they were really you know, just... To be good. honest, I, I didn't really like them either. I thought they were, I thought they were boring as hell. Like I mean, I, w I watched it because they're, they're the finals. But as far as the quality of the games, meh. I thought the games were really well played, but there were throw moments. Like yeah. overall, the games were well played. They played good Dota and then throw, and then good Dota and then throw. 
That's how I felt about the games. They were pretty good games, though. Uh, to, the to, third watch, game, to watch, anyway. The third game was pretty boring. It was a PL game. It was a game where, uh, I think, the offlane Cilibear killed the solo Lycan or something. I forgot that. Yeah, but I think it was a... Fina NTH had the safe lane Lycan, and then Trixie solo killed him. Yeah. Uh, and then they lost the game. Oh yeah, and then they were like trying. They were doing like a really heavy push thing with Lycan, I think, but they took no towers, right? Or they just they they pushed. They just didn't take towers with Lycan. Like the yeah. bear got too many levels, and then it was just it's really hard to push at that stage. Do you guys think? Uh, would you guys put NTH at the top of the scene right now in the West? NA and EU? Uh, or is this still like a rock, paper, scissors like type came out number like one top. on Team Liquid's Do you rankings. mean like top as in top one? Yeah. I think so. If they play well, I think so. I, I, I think I if think I had... Put a team as, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think so if I had to choose a team, like if I was just fucking... It was a multiple choice question, then I would choose NTH, but... I think uh, all the tier one teams are capable of beating each other. Just two weeks ago, VP or three weeks ago, VP won the the defense, and they lost. Now, now they're losing to like Mel's 2-0 or whatever. Um, I mean, Mel's beat Navi two, and two weeks ago. Navi was like raping everybody. I think when it comes to tier one teams, there's like eight, nine teams in the West right now that can just beat each other like during different weeks of the time. Yeah, I'd agree with that too. Actually, I don't like. I think that Navi hasn't really shown how strong they are too. If you're talking about uh, first place performance, and I don't know, we haven't like the big land where all the big teams clash hasn't really happened yet, and I don't really know when that will. I guess they'll have to be back or isn't that EMS? Probably. Is EMS? it called the EMS next tournament? Week. Isn't that like a week later or it's, it's next week? Yeah, yeah. we're not at that. Oh, what happened? I, I don't. Huh? We didn't what try to qualify. Oh, we didn't, we we didn't, didn't have try. time. Uh, well, like the group line, stages, though. the group stages were played on Tuesday, and there's like class and work. There's no way we could have skipped a Tuesday, and there's a, like even for the even for the land that we couldn't have taken time off to go to Poland to go play in that. Anyways, it just there was no way it was gonna work. And then looking at the format of the tournament, oh yeah, the format looks huge, really bad. Not a huge loss. It's it's awful. Single limb. The bracket is awful. During the finals? Yeah. I mean, during the LAN? Yeah, yeah. The, the, did you see the oh, bracket? No, oh, I didn't see it. It's awful. I got eliminated by AL. Well, the, bracket, the bracket's not their fault <laughs> because it's just because like, some teams that should have been higher finished second place in their groups. They ma just match up first and second place. But you can't make a LAN final single LM. Like, that's just stupid. This is the one, yeah, that's, really, can, this is the one that's really stacked, right? Like, no, it has. Fun. All right, so it well, has, it has like, Rocks, Rocks, DD. VP and AL on one half, and then the other half is Maus, NTH, Fnatic, and Navi. Oh God! Yeah, that's pretty stacked for single I mean, can... and for single limb. That matters a lot. I mean, I think the excuse that that what this is how it ended up because this is how the group stages were let up were were set up. That's a shitty excuse. Like really, you know who are the best teams. You can arbitrarily make the best bracket for yourself. Well, you I, just... I don't think you should do that. People are just gonna bitch if you do that. Like if you do that in a single limb, that's. Well, I mean, people I don't know, are that's bitching kind of... now. Yeah, it's. I mean, the what? fact is that it's a single elimination tournament. And what look we're gonna find is that I mean, the only way you're gonna get a good solution is not to do single limb. And if for some reason they can't do that, they probably shouldn't be hosting such a big land. How do? How I did mean, they end up ranked like this though? This is so stupid. Uh, like stages. Yeah, did, I mean, did, did someone have, like... forfeit or something? Or no, or... just the teams that were expected to be first. Didn't end up like, being. So this is just like rocks playing yeah. really well. Envy, what are you saying? I said liquid. The team you said the team that was expected to place high, and I said liquid. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wait, did liquid not qualify? Oh, liquid went oh, and three in their group. You lost, lost, bro. Yeah, I don't see That's Kaipi right. getting in there either. Yo, we got fucking time on el eliminated. Okay. Even though we won our game. What the hell? I mean, no, I'm not gonna lie. I think you guys got you guys got shafted on that. It's time well, well, elimination. I think We've that. already talked about how stupid well, the Back to like an important point. Like, weren't, weren't there like weekly tournaments, like two days a week, where teams had to play like long ass like 4PL tournaments? And didn't NTH get like super high place and didn't Navi get uh, rank, um, I mean, first place in the first one? I mean, why couldn't they just rank teams based on that plus the group stages? 
I don't see how Navi plus NTH got into the same group. That's just stupid. I'm, I'm fanatic. Don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I actually think uh, DD's the, my dark horse for the tournament. That's all I can say. No, just gonna gonna, the game. How many rare, how many rares are you gonna put that put on that? No, dude, I I have faith in my boy fucking Mad, dude. Yeah. That guy was is one of the smartest players I met. I play Dota. But am I? I'm gonna bet. I'm actually not gonna bet. I'm done betting. If Bulba, if Bulba makes enough predictions, some of them will come true. Yo, if you make enough bets, you're gonna like, someone's gonna get DDoSed. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we're done with Star Ladder. All right, are we saving well, the DDoS discussion though? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll save. We'll, right, save, we'll that save that. that. So um, I, guess, I guess the next move on one. Move on to Dreamhack. Dreamhack finals. Well, we'll, we'll, you want you want to go that. in chronological order and All go right. to D2L. 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 Right. Liquid. Came out on top of Dignitas in the finals, but still like still good to see NA Dota bringing in that that cash for first and second place. Um, I don't know what the prize pool was there. I think five it's and like three thousand. It's five thousand, three thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Two thousand. All right. Um, yeah. Well, Sam and Kurt play that one out. How'd that one go, Kurt? Um, what was it? We played him earlier in the morning, then we lost 0-2, and then we went to the loser bracket. We beat Empire 2-0, and then I think we won two in a row, and then we lost one, and then we won the final one. So we won three in a row. Well, the finals ended up 3-2, right? With a one-game advantage yeah. for us. You didn't win three yeah. in a row, I don't think. No, 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 it wasn't three no, in a row, did. it was just three overall. Yeah, no, no, they, three, 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 they won one. We won the second one. Then they won two, right? Or they won no, two. No, we no, won one. They won two. Yeah. They, then we won one, and then they won yeah. the last one. Yeah. So how's that in a row? Yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, we we won. We won. Three. <laughs> I, I don't know. I was confused. It was yeah, like no. long streaks. Like you have it right. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts Wait, on no. uh, one game advantage for the winner bracket? That's like, I heard a lot of people argue about that. Do you that. not think that should be in? Uh. I hate that shit. I think it's so dumb. What's the argument so, that hating it exactly? Don't you want to reward the it's team? So, it's so game? random. Where'd that come from? That's not how double how's, elimination works. How's that works. random? No, no. In well, a double elimination, that's, that's, that's you, you, is it? If you're going legit double elimination, you're going to play, like, what was, wait, it was best of five, right? So yeah. you'd play a best of five, and then whoever came from the, the winner's bracket, if they win that best of five, then it's over and they win. If they lose it, then it goes to a whole new best of five. Oh, yeah, that's oh. correct. That's correct. Oh, like, okay, okay. What? Uh, yeah, I saw. I, I, I've seen this format before. So, like, what I like is two BO threes. This is this or, is what we did in the fives or in the Dota like Hut Invitational, that, by the that's way. That's like that's freaking long. Like, oh, so don't do a best of five. Just do best of three, because the rest of the tournament best of was best of three, right? I, so I think so. So then threes, you just winning four games still in order for the losing team to come up. Like, that's a lot of time that you're dedicating <laughs> to it. That's the like, I think most that's it's, it's barely longer. It's about no, the same. No, no, that's significantly longer because you have a potential six games compared to a potential four games. That's fifty percent longer. Wait, isn't that a hundred percent longer? <laughs> Are we doing math now? A, poten a potential six games versus a potential four games? Oh, I thought I thought you were talking about a potential. Alright, alright, whatever. I was still games. that's like not too much longer. Because that's, no, that's a lot longer. Well, it's that's but there's too there's too potential really for the it to end to just as quickly. Like if, that's not the reason to why people don't like it, though. It's not about the time. No one ever uses that argument, do they? Why not? They just don't like it because they think one team gets too much of an advantage, which I agree. I I think I actually like the one game advantage over two uh, best of three, even though the two best of three is more fair because it's a double elimination. So you you're supposed to lose two best of threes to get eliminated, Make but. The the argument for the winner bracket shouldn't get any advantage is because the loser bracket is at more risk of elimination. But I don't like the argument at all because in a double elim, you should be able to lose once, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Before anything happens. And if you don't want to have two series so you can lose once in order to save time, because there are time constraints, whatever you say, there are time constraints. Like, look at all our team schedules. I'm pretty sure we're pretty packed, especially with exam season, other commitments. Like, we don't make enough to do this as our only thing. For most players, I'm saying that right now. For yeah, you're correct. Vast right. majority of pro teams, right? So if you have time constraints, then you have to find some way to give the winner bracket an advantage. If you don't want to spend six hours just on the finals, 
and that's with a double elimination bracket. So you've already spent a long time. Like for four teams in that format, you're gonna have a best of three in the winner bracket. That's potentially three hours. Two best of threes in the loser bracket. That's potentially another six hours, and a potential another six hours in the winner bracket finals. If you're having two series, that's a lot of time. That's 15 hours for I mean, a fourteen I, double them. I think ideally what they should have done is made it over three days um, and then have the grand finals be you win two best of threes. But, I mean, there were so many tournaments in that short span of time. I mean, we, we wanted it to be the grand finals on a different day regardless, right? But they I think, couldn't even do that. I think, every, I think everybody yeah, wanted Everyone to wanted it to be on a different day. And they couldn't even de- do this uh, shortened time one. So there's no way they could do uh, a two best of three one. Okay. Well, well, it was what it was. Oversaturation, oversaturation. Just what do you? At that. But how about how the TI does it during the finals? Like no one gets an advantage at all, even though right. it's a double elimination bracket. I Their like argument that. was just that they want the finals to be more epic. Everyone's starting on an even playing ground. That's like like these know. are two best teams. Now they're fighting it out or whatever. It's sort of a different. Yeah. It's a different context, scenario, though. right? Like that's the biggest tournament in the world, yeah. or for and, one, and one of the teams would be a lot more tired and stuff like. I mean, yeah. they play obviously a lot less games. Like, if the winner bracket teams in TI two didn't play many games at all, but the loser bracket had to play like so many games. Well, that's one of the most important tournaments. That's that's the most important tournament in the year, and that's also the least fair when it comes to the finals. Then, but I I actually agree with the way to do it though, even though I say that. Yeah, but I, their argument was also because you had to do uh, best of ones in the lower bracket. So it was a lot easier to get eliminated and whatever. That's just going back to the argument that it's harder to progress through the lower bracket. Well, if we had more time, it would have been better. Speaking of why we didn't have more time, it's because everybody had to play the DreamHack Invitational after that. And so the grand finals for that is uh, Dignitas versus Alliance that happen that's gonna happen uh, next Thursday at twenty C E T. Best of five, I believe. Why was it why was it postponed on Thursday? Why why couldn't you guys play it Sunday? They got DDoSed it, everyone got DDoSed. Because uh, I think there what was go. it? It it was uh, what? Alliance versus Fnatic? Yeah, it was Alliance versus Fnatic. They started like what? They had like an hour and a half delay. I'm saying why why was it why 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 didn't you guys play yesterday? Because they had an hour and a half delay, so then <laughs> we ended up having an hour and a half delay. He means yesterday as in the day after the tournaments, because we had other yeah. tournaments scheduled for that. Yeah, we, we had other shit that. to do. Uh both Hostan and TH can do it that day. Yeah, so we scheduled for next Thursday because it ended up being so fucking late that it was really late for NTH and then we had shit to do, so rescheduled. So I guess the question is, as far as the grand finals go, Sam, Sam, what do you think of uh, the matchup? Give me your predictions here. Who, what, who had bet my items on? Yeah, Alliance versus Dignitas. Don't be biased. I know you love me, but don't be biased. I have to say, if both teams are playing their best, I'd have to say Alliance. But... I can see scenarios how Dignitas, uh, that you guys can win. But I, right now I feel Alliance is really strong if they play their best. And they have the best strats right now. That's what, at least what I feel. But I see Dignitas as a team that can, uh, they, they adapt well. And uh, they adapt to different scenarios well, which oh, is what so makes them the team. <laughs> Look at this polish in. Holy shit, what, Sam. Dude, I'm being, I'm <laughs> Where's the real talk? Where's the fucking real talk? If you think I you're low it. skill, just say it. You know well, what? I would I, say if the quit is in the final, I'd say NTH would shit on you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I think you guys would have a chance to. I mean, it's, it's hard to say. Both these teams are top. Like, anything can happen. It's so hard, Charlie, right now to say one team can win. It's together. actually true, because like the top... Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Like what Envy said, the top nine teams or whatever, they can all easily take games off them, series even, right? I think we'd all yeah. agree with that. Yeah, so I'd say, if I bet my words, I'm sorry, AUI, but I'm betting my uh, my shit on um, Alliance. Oh, that's okay. We actually give us that actually gives us a better chance to win, considering your history. 
Dude, I, I bet on Cube Pad, dude. I think it was Cube Pad versus what team did I bet on? I forgot. Versus us? Yeah, it was Cube Pad versus and Fnatic, dude. I bet on Cube Pad. Christ, they 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 stomped the first game and then they lost two. That was depressing. They they, they give Fnatic with CK. I thought after they stomped you guys with with CK, you would not give them with CK, but they should not give them with CK. Yeah. Cube Pad gave Fnatic with CK in like the second game, and then they got complete shit on. That was depressing. Envy, who would you who would you bet your items on? Uh, I think uh, Alliance as well, but I think uh, if Dana Toss wins, they're gonna win three zero, or Alliance will win three one. It's my prediction. Actually, let me put it this way: <laughs> Snaking versus S four. Oh God. S S squared. <laughs> See predictions for this. I think S four is gonna take a a dog and then. Send it to S Snaking's house. <laughs> the dog okay. is snaking. <laughs> and S4 is going to crush him. <laughs> the reason what I have the fuck? <laughs> If you're going to flame, at least flame him. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck Dude, is that? It's going to take a dog and send it to Snaking's house? Dude, it's because <laughs> Dude, it's because Snaking is Chinese. What? Yeah. What the fuck it's is going on? Okay, Sam, for the sake of your sponsors, I'm going to tell you to stop right there. They're trying to be racist about dogs and Chinese people, how to eat dogs and stuff. Right. It's, a, it's an inside joke between me and Sam. It should have stayed an inside joke. Oh, Sam. Oh, but whatever, I, I'm going I'm to say that. The biggest yeah, I, player. I'm gonna say S4 is, is gonna crush Snaking. That's my uh, final oh. final thoughts. No man, he picks TA. Nice. Nice. Stop, you're fine. You're okay. I feel I, I think S4 is capable of beating Snaking's TA. Yeah, I think so too. With Mag and Puck, badly, really badly. What? No, I think S4 can beat his TA with Mag and Puck really bad. Yeah. And Quap. Really? It's... Puck and Puck? Yep. No, I think I think I think. Me and Artiz, they play that matchup enough. And I think it's actually yeah. somewhat. Uh, I think S4 can beat him. It's an even matchup if Puck gets pulled. And Puck plays proper Dodo. I think. I guess we'll find out. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I have faith in my son, though. I really it's, do. All right. I, I really the, do. The, the time after you guys had that GIF, where it's like, it gave me TA silly mortals. You guys lost that game. That was depressing. I think you won the next two. That's true. That, that stand in Fnatic MSS, what a player. Dude, MSS is good. He beat Dude, two MSS players. and KZZ, those guys are legit. Seriously, shout out to those guys. They're, those guys are seriously really good. MSS Panda really like inspired me. Who? He's, he's really... The MSS okay, Panda. Sam. MSS, RTZ, KZZ. Who would you bet your items on? Um, Laning phase? Uh, okay, no, no, just overall. Overall. If you had to pick a ringer, I I choose KZZ, most douchey player. In so does that depend on your your um like role? Yeah, it depends uh, on the role, what, what you need. Is this I mean, a new segment of the show? Go if, pick if your I had, ringer, if I had, where we just name a couple names oh, and you pick your ringer. If I had to pick a support, I think that's legit. I I'd pick KZZ. If I had to oh. pick mid, obviously I pick RTZ. And if <laughs> I had to pick a panda or something, I would pick MSS. Does it also depend on the server as well, sadly enough? <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, RTZ is west. Who's MSS? <laughs> Am I the only one who doesn't know him? Dude, it's Storm 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 him and... Is it? Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I never knew he was that legit. Is he in NA? Fnatic NA? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's the mid player. Yeah, he plays a mean Luna too. Yep. All right. Um, do you guys want to move on to G one qualifiers before we oh, start talking G1. about DDoS? I feel the pain I already. Where, I don't even know where to start with G one. You start with the DDoS. Wait, wait. Didn't you, you guys really? want to just you want to just do DDoS? I mean, that's G one. All right. Pretty much. All right. Um, well, we'll do a quick DDoS overview. If we're actually going to talk about that now, since it's been fucking up a bunch of leagues, DDoS is 
distributed denial of service. Basically, some one or some people are having a lot of fun um, getting a player's IPs and then overloading them with traffic so that they experience amazing and unplayable lag. And it's uh, caused a ton of delays and problems with G1 League, a little bit in DreamHack. Um, and we've seen a lot of players tweeting about it, and I'm sure it's really frustrating for everyone. So um, I don't know what you guys really want to say about this. It sucks. Apparently a lot of the problems are coming through Skype or Steam. Uh, Kurt, I know that you tried Destiny's guide to protecting yourself against DDoS. Yes. Did that work? I haven't been DDoSed. But Fog did it too, right? And he got yes, DDoSed. Yes, but I don't think he changed his IP properly. That's how I th oh. think. Didn't he call his ISP? I don't know. But I just know that I called my ISP today and after an hour and 15 minutes of talking to them, they weren't able to change my IP because they're incompetent. So I bet his IP probably, ISP probably screwed up too. Well... A lot of people have been blaming Dota 2 lounge and item betting on this. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't really understand what that has to do with no. it because yeah, there's this, been real money well, betting for a long time. And and there's no evidence that either that it's, that it's because of them. I mean, that's the stupidest thing. It really yeah, that's, that's that it's because, yeah. I mean, there's there's real money on the line. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it could be it could be anything. They uh, Dota 2 lounge is... Canceling all their bets for the weekend or something. I don't know. This week. For so. the next G1 matches, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So someone made the argument of um, they DDoS the team that has a higher percentage of winning for more money, I think. I and mean, that doesn't make sense either. Um, like, I, th I think first it came of like AL first EG. So AL had a lower percent chance of winning, so they DDoS uh, um, EG. But with us, they DDoS uh, Kaiki. But Empire had the higher chance of winning, so that just throwing it out there that that theory is retarded. There's no way to know why they're doing it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a real pattern in this either. And there are there are a million holes where people could get your IPs, right? You yeah, guys, for, I mean, you guys have all posted something on NADOTA.com. I have all your IPs. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's just Skype either. Uh, I mean, Aoi posted. Uh, on Twitter, like uh, earlier today, I mean, he did he did experimentations with Twista um, about getting your getting IP from Steam, and apparently you can do that as well from uh, from doing the the voice chat uh, through the Steam client. You can just call through that as well. Same thing as Skype, and you can get you know the other person's well, IP. It, it's sort of well. different than Skype. It, well, be. it is different, but it's similar ish. But, you, but no, the point Skype, is, you can just look it up from anyone. Like Skype is really bad because you can actually look up anyone who's just logged onto Skype from an IP and you can instantly get their IP very easily, very readily. Steam, you have to be at least able to call them. They don't have to pick up the call, but you can still get the IP from that just because it's a P2P program. Yeah, I mean, the point is, is that there are lots of different places that people can pick up your IP. Even like Twitch chat is very easy to like. That's probably the easiest way to get it. I think. I think. I don't know about like Skype. I I feel like it's not Skype because Fog brought his Skype fine and it still happened to him. And like I don't know, like don't people know. keep I'm... saying it's Skype, but I don't think so right now at this point because everyone's taking measures against Skype. No one's taking measures against the other stuff. Um, what do you think about the solution where you just restart your router, wait for your IP to change, and don't log on anything and just play your match offline? Like, I don't know, 15 minutes before the match starts. Well, I haven't heard anything about that. Oh, it's kind of ridiculous well, that we'd have to that go will, to measures like that. That will, that's also a, sort of a coin toss, right? Because if you wait 15 minutes restarting your router, you won't always get a different IP. Someone needs to pick up your old IP in order for you to get a new one. If you reroll your the same one, then you're still screwed, right? Okay. But I mean, it, I I mean I agree with you, Envy. Like it's it's pretty shitty though that we have to go through these measures because some kid out there is a giant asshole. 
It's okay. You guys are sponsors. Wait, what's, what's, what's the proof that it's a DDoS, though? How about if it's all okay? Yeah, all okay, right. so it has to be DDoS. Come the fuck down. Uh, are you, are you I kidding think, me? I think okay. Look at the pattern. DDoS I, I hope it's in the past, but oh my gosh. when I mean, when is when is this much? Obviously, uh, something's going on here. April Fools, guys. Like I, li I like that. Uh, it's not even funny, just because you haven't experienced it. I like that our outline just says the DDoSing guys are cunts. Who typed that? Charlie? Who else types out the outline? Uh, Nobody else does shit. What does Charlie do? Um, alright. I mean, like... It's fucking awful. Like, I was up at pretty early this morning expecting to watch some some G1 watch my team and then I'm just sitting there in bed comfortable thoughts you guys watching my guys too. and then and then all of a sudden I get like a million fucking phone calls and messages and it's and then I spend like pretty much the rest of the day just you guys were you guys were going to win that game too I felt. Yeah. yeah you guys were going to win 100% there was literally no chance you guys were gonna lose that game unless you threw. I don't. But even don't then, even, like, even we then, could we like, could throw like three times that game. We're in a really good spot, but that doesn't mean we would have automatically won the series, of course. I mean, but, well, you guys at least you guys knew you were getting DDoS when when Pi and I got DDoS and we talked to him afterwards. He was like, like I didn't even know what the fuck happened. Like. I didn't think I was getting DDoS, and then yeah, like how it happens minutes. is one person starts lagging, right? For you guys, it was Bone Seven started yeah. lagging, and then it a different person disconnects. Oh, no, sorry, and then connected. yeah, for us, uh, Snaking started lagging, and then Fog got hit. And wait, wait, wait why is it like that? But you guys knew though, because like because we got DDoS. Yeah, right? like it's and it was the same thing with like hard. Admiral Bulldog and me and Fog for DreamHack, I think. Yeah, and, wait, and wait. Fog said he was like looking at all the packets that were coming in. And off of Pure Gardening, or, or I don't know, whatever. And he said that right before he he DC'd, he just got flooded with a bunch of shit. And wait, that, that wait, why it. is it that it's lagging one person and DDoSing other? It's just no, no, they both get DDoS in the end. I think it's just the start of the packet flood starts slower yeah. and then it. Kind of Two people get DDoS every time, yeah. right? But it's, like on the bright side, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm saying like two people get DDoS every time, right? It's Airman and yeah. S. For us, it's, yeah. it was Bone Seven. Wait, Air, wait, Airman and NS got DDoS too? Yeah. Well, when? come on. He, he fucking went to a like he he had to leave his computer. No, I wasn't. I, I haven't been able to watch the games because of class. But everyone got DDoS. Everyone, every team, I think. I mean, every one team per two, every match. Wait, what did they do for the uh, the VP game? I didn't watch those games. Anyone? It, it was two. I don't know. Two people got. I think it was like Airman and. No, no, the actual set. Like, did they? They didn't postpone the game. Oh no! I, I think at that point, no, no. For they got DDoS for one match, and then I think they were already going to lose that one, and then they came back for the third, I think, and then they lost that just, just straight up. I think okay, what happened was the first game, Mel's got raped by VP. Second game, they got DDoS, and I don't know if they won or whatever. But the third game, they actually had to go somewhere else to go to a LAN, uh, like a net cafe to play, like Airman and NS. Jeez. And I don't, I don't know, that might have affected them. I mean, that definitely affect me if I have to fucking change yeah, my really entire does. setup. Your yeah, settings is just completely different. There's people behind me doing stupid shit or whatever. Like, I, I don't know. Are you, are you scared, guys? What? Yeah. What? When, 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 when a stranger DDoSes you. Yeah. A new movie. When a stranger calls, when a stranger DDoSes. Is it you? You'll, You'll never feel, feel the really same after you right now, DDoSed. Sam. Like, you, I, like, look at you. You're Dude, sitting in the park saying that. Are you guys scared? <laughs> Are you guys scared? We need to get we need to get you sponsored with a lamp of some sort. Dude, I have I my can I, I, I can tell when you switch pages on your monitor or whatever. You can't just keep a bright screen up forever, apparently. No, dude. It's hard to keep that like constant bright screen, my eyes hurt. Oh that's why. You should get some gunners. Um, have the admins pretty much just been <laughs> allowing really long pauses to deal with it? Pretty much. I don't know Envy, what else they could Envy, do. Envy, what do you think about the admins? I, th I think the... Com I don't know. I, I'm a little pissed off. They're actually doing a good job, though. They're, at least they allowed the long pauses, but the way... Like, when, when there's a pause and because someone's getting DDoS, 
fucking diamonds and everyone's like z z z z z. We're sitting there like apologizing for something we can't fucking do anything about. I mean, it actually pisses me off. Like all the viewers are like blaming the teams, the casters are like, you know, oh, I'm sorry to the organizers, I'm sorry to you viewers. Like, what the fuck happened to the players? I don't know. I got I got pretty pissed. I think the players have been uh, handling it pretty damn well so far. I can only imagine how frustrating that would be. Yeah, like I mean, we were up, like we were up like so much, and we or t fucking hero disappears. Like holy shit, we're playing Forest Five. We get two towers, we get two kills. All wait, wait, your, your hero actually was on the map? Yeah, no. Okay, so we we um we played a Forest Five today, right? Um, the second game, and we were ahead, like four K gold, I think, or no, three K gold. And then our Vino it's Master, reload. yeah, our Vino Master disconnects. We play Forest Five. We get two towers. We get two kills. Uh, two minutes later, um, the entire server fucking crashes. We have to reconnect. But, but because Paidai couldn't, like, log on, his hero just didn't reload and his entire hero disappeared. All of a sudden, we're down 1k gold because he had 4k gold on his hero. And then you carry the fuck out of your team, right? Uh, everyone played good. Nice four staffs. Some you guys were going to win that game, and one. Ursa? You guys yeah. win that game no matter that what. That was right? the Ursa game. Um, Did you invent that? I, I can't. I can't say that. Uh, I think Ursa isn't like a gyrocopter for, for like eight, uh, I don't know. Like there's a chance we I just get kited by three three entangles and we lose the game. So maybe most likely we would have won. I think. How do you think? Also? I think Emperor actually started choking after we disconnected because I mean with the Ferris they were gonna lose for first five. Christ, the next is oh. really poor. Seeing the the VOD. They all started choking, I think. You should, they're really poor. But what do you think about the the EGAL decision? I think it was released today that AL got the forfeit win for the second game. What were they happened? like super ahead? They were. Yeah, they, they, they were. They, they, were they were probably going to win that game. I felt the only there was no way that I felt EG could have won on they, this. They just had a disconnect. Okay. Uh, it was uh, what was it, Bedias and Milk? Yeah. Well, I mean, you always have to sort of rule in favor or sort of against the team that gets DDoSed, even if though they're getting, you can't do anything against it, because if you rule even or you rule for them, then it's going to get abused. Like, we were being killed bad, but there's no way we would have got a default win there, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. but that's how, that's how it should be, though, right? had discon Yeah, that's how it should be, and that's, I think, how they're trying to prevent disconnect abuse. You're saying because you you could DDoS yourself or pretend to be DDoS. Well, you could just yeah. pull your internet, right? Like, yeah. it's very easy to do. So they have to protect from abuse at some level as well. Wait, so what's happening with the QPAN? You're playing, you guys are playing tonight? Yeah, we're playing We're playing them again tonight. Oh, at, you guys are so uh, fucked. <laughs> 10 a.m. PST. <laughs> I'm so tired. God, you guys are fucked. No. Wait, wait, what's the time? for? What time are you guys playing? Four hours. It's not as bad. I've been up from 5 a.m. <laughs> it it's not as bad as a 4 a.m. should do it. I have class like as soon as the game finishes. I know it's it's. I mean, like honestly, it's it 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 really is shitty overall. Like it's a fucking North American EU tournament, and and like it's it's fucking hosted at the most god awful hours ever. Everyone has like fucking school or these are hours when they should be sleeping. I mean, I, I feel like just overall the tournament's been more about the Chinese admins and I guess, I don't know, the Chinese fans. Part, part of me says but, they're giving us this opportunity and we need to shut the hell up. We're professional pro gamers. We need to just fucking play. Pretty much. Right I mean, like, that that's how they view it. But, like, but at the but same I feel, time, I feel, I feel like a lot, of, a lot of the teams and a lot of the players, like, they haven't been thinking about us. Like... They, they think, yeah, but I, I don't think it should be an excuse. It's 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 our, it's like our job technically to play, and we shouldn't be. It's our job, dude. It, it you is, wouldn't be saying this uh, if you guys got DDoSed. No, no, okay, okay, okay. I mean, technically, yeah, no, 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 no. It's not our job, but or it is you our the possibility. Times? Talking about the times, I'm not. I'm not talking about You're the talking DDoS. About okay, the that's, times? that's 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 fine. It, oh, it is our job, and it yeah. is our responsibility. I mean, I mean, it's not our job, but it it it's our responsibility. I I think it would be. A grave misnomer to equate this with job right now, and I think no, it's it's hard to not say that like they're giving us this opportunity. We can't whine about the times. Obviously, the times suck. It sucks for me more than anyone, me and Mike at least, because we have class at 
eight damage. Yeah. So, so does Snake King. Dude, I have. I mean, like, trust me, it doesn't. This suck this is finals week for and way too. Like it sucks for fucking everybody, and it sucks for every single team. And every single team in that chat expressed discontent with the times, but. They the Chinese think the Chinese think that we're like them, that we can live off Dota, uh, like we'll be Navi. That's fucking impossible. There's there's no way they can expect us to play twenty four seven like like them because we have to go to school or well I don't but like a lot of people do need to go to school, a lot of people do need to like go to work, so I think it's unfair for them to expect uh, what they expect from their own players when we don't get enough salary or anything like that. Like at the, like just going off of that like a lot of the I mean. Uh, I saw some of the stupidest fucking comments like about the about DDoSing where people are like, you know, you guys are professional players. These are this is your livelihood. As your lively, you know, as uh, you you would think that um, as professional players and doing this for your livelihood, you would protect, you know, your connection or you'd have a backup computer or a backup connection or something like that. Oh my fucking god. How stupid is that? This is your livelihood? My god, if this was our livelihood, we would be starving. I don't know, you can't win every star ladder the entire year and you wouldn't make enough to, like, fucking live. All right. Depressing, guys, let's move on. Yeah, we, we do so need to move on. It's too depressed here, buddy. Um, Christ. We have... JD Masters. JD so we Masters. wanted to talk about that. Uh, Rock's Kiss beat was it Empire? Someone. They were doing yeah, well. Yeah, Rock's Kiss beat Empire. Yeah, they're playing Navi next. Um, or Fnatic? Did they beat? I don't know. Oh, is it, is this again? Rock's Kiss beat Empire again? It's the same tournament I said. No, this is the same thing that we were talking about. No, didn't they win the big point? Ross uh, just yeah. beat. Yeah, Empire they won the big point. They beat so, they the also, oh, yeah. so they also beat them again in the joint Dota Masters. They, they beat. They didn't beat Empire in the joint Dota. They beat Fnatic. They beat the Fnatic. Dota. Sorry, oh, they beat okay. Fnatic okay. in JD Masters. Just kidding. The game was actually pretty. Epic. Actually, I forgot. The Navi a Qpad game was epic. You guys didn't see that. That was pretty good. Do they look yep. good? Did you watch I, I, these games? I, I saw the I saw the Navi Qpad game. I was I was kind of the vod. I mean the replay I brought runs over. It looked pretty in entertaining. I, I fought Keep Out One and I I stopped watching. <laughs> yeah, I thought they won too. It was yeah. pretty like for some they were really ahead bad by fights. A lot. Yeah, <laughs> I think there was like one where Puppy died top and then they got Roshan off that and that was pretty big. And then the winner was really farmed. Funny kind of crushed that game. He landed some sick shackles. It was a weird, really like weird shackle. It didn't look like it hit. And it hit. And then they won the team fight. All right. All right. Um, also in JD Masters, EG played Kai P. No, EG played uh, oh. Mouse. Mouse. They beat Mouse. EG and beat Mouse. They're, they're about to play Kai P. Okay. Yeah. That game was oh, pretty EG interesting Mouse. too. Wow. That Mouse game has been VPN. There's there was no way that EG should have like Mouse had a Beyond God like AM at 13 minutes. I have no idea. Was, yeah. yeah, Black, Black was, was literally. Are you serious? He was all playing the shit out of EG too, but he literally had to 5v1. Like, they won every lane except the top lane. The the, the Bat Raider solo killed the Tink Demon twice. Tinker Mid twice. Demon had first blood money from uh, level 1 smoke gank. Hmm. And then um, the their tri lane got crushed, and then AM just I was like 10 0 at some minute, and then. They just like they try to force fights versus gyro and they yeah, they tried that. pushing. There was this one time they just went and pushed bottom. Yeah, and all they it. had to do was split farm, and they had a free win. And then they just got crushed there, and EG was back in the game. And I think they didn't have a Mouse didn't have a player. I think uh, they didn't have Fada. Yeah, they, they had have Fada. Fada. Well, so they they beat they beat Navi well with Fada though two zero right. Yeah, but oh, yeah. they beat VP uh, they beat VP without Fada. So that was it, and then we can figure it out with the last game. It, was it just the best of one? Next topic, guys. Next topic. What happened okay, in the last whoa, game? Whoa. Real, real quick though, real quick. MV, how do you get, how do you feel about going up against EG right now? Uh. I mean, you play them in the next match. Well, I I think right now they're the weakest of the tier one teams, so I'm feeling pretty good. But my team is pretty shaky right now as well. 
even though we just won some matches. So, I mean, you guys are kind of on a roll with Rock's I, Kiss. One day is in a roll, I think. Well, okay, that's fair. You're getting the ball rolling, I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. They played. They played well versus us today. There were some uh, good plays out of Bone Seven, and I think. Yo, that play mill. How do you see feel about that? That was unexpected. Oh, yeah, I no, saw one, that. no one expects a clockwork to have. That was uh, pretty funny. <laughs> I didn't fucking expect it. He was like, going, going. I was like, are, are you, are you serious? We're going to a Luna LT. He's like, trust me, I got this. So I was like, okay. You, I run in, he hooks in, and then fucking Eclipse gets raped by Blame Mill. Jesus, I didn't even see that coming. Okay. Thoughts on that game, Sam? Done. Oh, All right. Oh, it was. Uh, they just. They won their we they won the aggressive trial and we had they had some good pick offs from the mag and the clockwork and then we lost the game. That was basically it. That was when you play versus a lineup they had, like Bane, Mag, PL, Clock, you, if you make one mistake you lose the game. And we we won our solos pretty handily. But they had better team fight mid game and then they just won off, I think. There was like a smoke ink in our ancients and then they killed two and then there was a bad Roshan fight and then we just lost. That wasn't much else. If you lose, if you make one mistake versus PL Mag, you're basically gonna lose the game. Kind of like the first game Empire had versus Kai P. You make one mistake versus an AM, and then you lose. All right. Well. All right. Let's move on here. We are at we are in a uh, time limit this week. Um, RIT Land Rochester was this weekend. Eternal Envy attended it. How was the land? Did you enjoy it? Uh, it was decent. I think it was a little bit disorganized, but overall, I liked it. The main reason to why I went was just to meet people, mm -hmm. and the uh, people I met there were pretty cool. So yeah, you were there. Gods, Loomis, Mott, what is hip? B balling. I think I got everyone. More yeah. people too. Well, there was um, PowerNet as well. Yeah, PowerNet. Pa PowerNet made that tournament fun. Just that uh, game one of the finals was so freaking fun. He picked anti mage, and I was like, this, I, I just started like commentating his game from his perspective. <laughs> With people behind me, it was so fun. His uh, his team Less QQ did lose in the finals to the Nick Wong advantage. Um, anything oh else you want to say about the land? Losing to Nick Wong. <laughs> it's a genocide run, and like some other people. <laughs> there are a lot of good people there. Um, Wait, what right. the fuck Dota was on that team? Oh god. I heard he was trolling people. He was walking around saying his name was Jeffrey. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, we gotta keep rolling because Atod 3 is starting. Um, right after Mad, um, we are streaming the qualifiers on this channel. Um, I need to clear up a few things for people. If you want to watch the qualifiers tonight or the rest of the qualifiers, if there are more, um, you need the ATOD 2 ticket for that because the ATOD 3 ticket has not been activated yet. That'll be activated by the time the rest of the tournament starts. Um, the matches tonight are a 5v5 all mid same hero qualifier. So that might be kind of interesting for a fun tournament. Um, and those matches are... My Intent versus Exiled 5, followed by Skill Difference versus Anime Girl Stack. Okay. No Anime Girl Stack. Is, who's on that team? No fucking idea. <laughs> nice name. No, I okay. think it's uh, Biza, 04. Probably Jana. Well, that's all I know of, I think. All right. Uh, moving on to our general esports kind of discussion here. Um, the Alliance is announced. Which is NTH and Naniwa. Um, yep. We saw IP checks on the servers showing that Evil Geniuses are hosting the server for the website. They're using the .gg domain. It seems pretty obvious that there's a big connection here. Wait, E, what's your headset again? Uh, Astro. Okay, just wondering. All right, Sam. Okay. Uh, Charlie, do you want to say anything about this? Yeah, all right. So, I guess, I mean, 
the the purpose is I guess is pretty obvious. It's so so EG can uh, I mean they can have competing sponsors under the same management. Like uh, like right now they're sponsored by Steel or by Razer. EG is sponsored by Razer and they do their keyboards and their mice. Um, but allowing them to allowing them to have a separate brand in the alliance allows them to pick up a competing sponsor to Razer, like Steel, Steel Series. So they can have those two things there and they can have separate branding. Um, other than that, I guess having a having a separate team also is I guess is an advantage for Naniwa since I mean, he's a high profile player that EG had wanted to pick up for a while, but um, a lot of the EG StarCraft players did not want to be on a team with Naniwa. I mean, people like Hawk have said that you know if if Naniwa joins, I'm leaving. So this way, EG can have Naniwa, but at the same time, not have Naniwa and so I mean it gives them separate branding it gives them like just gives them more options we'll see how it goes right now their only sponsor is Razer uh, despite having Astro headsets but um, I mean we'll see where this goes how well EG can sort of spin this around and and get more sponsorship brands onto that to their I guess their European flagship team Obviously, they're very good at what they do, so it makes sense for them to do it again and uh, avoid any conflicts with players and sponsors. Um, also in esports news, Blizzard announced their WCS. Uh, I guess... It's, it's, it's basically like their... Um, it's like a developer-sponsored tournament, or league system, rather where uh, um, all the pros are divided up into regions, North America, uh, or North, yeah, North America, Europe, and Korea. And while it's mostly StarCraft news, I guess the reason it's relevant to us is, do we need something like this? Do we need uh, like a league system where somebody says, or all the tournament organizers somehow work together and they say, hey, we're going to have a big fucking league system and not have a million matches played at once. Like, so for you guys, Sam, Owie, and Envy, do we need this? Is this something that you want? Bulba, you go first. Do you want this? Well, do you want something like that? Like, if, if Valve came out and said, yo, we're doing our own version of the LCS or the WCS, would you be happy about it? Is this something you want and you need? Yes. It would be awesome. Why? Well, not... Thoughts, Bulba? It'd be awesome. Why wouldn't it be awesome? It, it's different for Dota. You're not going to have uh, the Chinese teams come over here and play like what the Korean teams are going to do for the WCSNA. So, like the entire thing that Katz wrote, it'll probably apply to our scene and the European scene. So I can't really say it wouldn't help. But the problem right now with the NA scene is there's only going to be three teams, I think, that are ever going to be competitive and it's I don't think ever it's ever, yes. ever what about Fnatic and A did you see Mojo Storm Stout yeah I forgot and KZZ RTZ but, but, Rising but Star I wouldn't say ever gonna, but just, it's gonna be a while until a fourth big team breaks out I mean, wasn't Dignitas created one year ago I don't know how you could say that uh, the Dignitas was different that was the team that was the best team that the remaining like five players that were good could make I think there's I enough talent in NA right I now. I think there's enough so, too, actually. There is. I mean, like, if yeah. you if you had like a like a stable system and a stable salary for these teams, like, I don't know. You I can't probably think have of, people uh, like. I can't think of a five a five man team that would well, be good. Okay, can, I don't know. Like, if, if they had experience, Brutstar, what about Frankie? Brutstar, KZZ, Frankie. But these players, they can't play Dota. Like, they, they can't play competitive. Well, <laughs> well, well if, if you gave, if you gave them if you gave them the the format and like the backing behind it like an LCS system if you I gave mean, it like think, you, you, I mean, you they don't can't, think like, like Rootstar or Frankie or or Claire could like do something they can but that that team would not exist together that's all but I the can thing say. is like Sam like you have to realize that one and a half years from now you would never see a Dignitas coming right 
like you have to have some faith that there's going to be a talent uprising. I think if like it just happens, like teams form, new teams form. Like where did Kai P come from, honestly? Like, where did Aoi where did like, where did Aoi 2000 come from? He didn't play in like in-house leagues. Nobody knew who the fuck this guy was. This guy was Validity Saga in SC2. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying against it. I'm just saying it's, it, if a team does pop, it's, yeah, I have my doubts on the NA scene. Like, it's, it's really hard right now. Maybe there, there are some surprises, and I'll, I'll challenge that. But Does it have to be completely NA? I mean, it doesn't. You can oh, always get I mean, one or two people that's, from Europe. It's so hard from mixing NA and EU. You, you know that E. Like, mm. I mean, people can also move as well. I don't know about that one. Well, I mean, if yeah, we have milk I, on you, I, I mean, if I think if the format and milk are quite quite special because you're not going to move to form a new team. Right? Do you need to move? I mean, I don't see why you need to move. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, maybe you don't, but generally, being in Europe is a thing because it costs less for your plane tickets. Well, I mean, if you had a region system like I guess League of Legends does, or or StarCraft does, I don't no, know. I'm not doubting. Oh, okay, not- I mean, I I don't want to bring up League of Legends so much, but like Riot pays, they give them a salary and they give them a living stipend and a travel stipend. I don't think anyone would turn down more support like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I don't know if that's Riot. I mean, if Valve has to do that, but I are, mean, are there's you saying- also always the possibility of that in, in the future. Are you implying that if this tournament were to happen, that the NA scene would be just NA scene, and the Europe scene would be the Europe scene, and they'll be split apart? No, I, I, I don't think it can be split apart yeah, like that. I mean, and if they're going to be together... Right now, I don't think that can. Yeah, yeah. No, right now, I don't think that can. I don't think and in the future it, it can be like that. I, I think there has to be some connection. Are you sure? In the, yeah. Like, how far into the future? Like, in 10 years, I can see that happening. I don't know. It's oh. so hard to say. But you for now, at least... You don't split them up then, completely, right? You, 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 you split them up into different regionals, and then you have a finals, too. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking maybe, about within the closest proximity. It's hard. But How do you go from you don't believe that the NA team will ever have another team to going to the NA team will develop in 10 years? Who? Who? A, you! Dude, obviously it's an exaggeration. I mean, I, I think within the next year, there's not going to be the fourth NA team that's popped up. And I'm pretty sure everyone here can agree with that. I disagree. Within the next year? I disagree with that. Really? I, I, I can't think of five players that have enough time that can... and are, are, don't have enough... No, Silo took two years. So, wait, I mean, so Silo took one year. I think. Sam, a year and a half ago, you didn't even know who me and Envy were, right? Correct. I knew I knew who we were, and I knew who I, no, you I was. Because, oh, yeah. you, were, you, asked because tied, you invented, you, you invented asked tied who I was when I was playing Beastmaster mid, and you asked if I was a Smurf. <laughs> Dude, I remember playing. That was with the first you, game you saw uh, uh, in, in I, Throne. I, in. I remember. Too, I remember, I remember E. Dude, I've known E. D. for a oh. long time. I remember that. You remember E. You remember that guy called E. E. Z. E. Z. E. Z. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I remember him. Look, I remember this guy from DCL. Dude, you're never going to forget a name, Jackie Mao, dude. Never going to forget that name. I heard it five years ago. I still remember it. <laughs> it's fucking creepy. Dude, it's, Yo, uh, it's Chappie, not so dude, dude, dude. Are you Sam, scared Sam, of me? <laughs> Sam, like Chappie's going to prove you wrong. Chappie's going to prove you wrong. What? About what? About an NNA team, man. Challenge accepted. Yeah. He's going to fucking do it. He's going to prove you wrong. Okay, I'll see that. I'll I'll bet that. You, you want to bet rare? Fair. You want to bet rares against him? I will yeah, bet you. DDoS, man. No, 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 I'm gonna bet you. Do I get DDoS by Volvo? <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying right now, officially, I will, I will bet you a hundred dollars within a year from now, there will not be a fourth NA team. Within a year? Well, from that, now. Chappie says challenge, challenge accepted. Do you mean a new one, like a I mean, new one, and no NA teams to span? It, it has to be four expand. teams. It has to be four NA teams. Okay, just, why, just, why can't EG just split up into two teams and fucking get two new other players? Hard, oh, never mind. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> no, that's completely okay. possible. Or like all three teams can split up, and like one person from each team makes a new team, and that's, that's four teams too. This is a shitty bet. I'm not, I'm not doing this. You're gonna lose like, so you, fast. Yeah, oh, you, you're basically both. Bulba's backpedaling when he realizes how. Like, <laughs> oh, I forgot, dude. I can't expect anything. He forgot. <laughs> I, who knows? There's even like one NA team next. Chappy wants to know if you want his PayPal now. Yeah. Or later. 
Christ. All right. Freaking. Let's let's move on. Um, let's get uh, Envy some questions here in our in our guest focus. Um, how's it going with Kai P? What's the uh, what's your transition been like, or or how do you feel differently uh, with your new team compared to NTH? I think the professionalism is rather weak in this team in comparison to NTH. The practice schedule is okay. Uh, we still do practice every now and then. Um, you, maybe even daily. Um, there's problems every now and then. Uh, can, you, can you expand on the professionalism part? Well, I think back in NTH, there was never any flaming until after the game. And even then, it would never be like an actual flame. It wouldn't be like, you suck at Dota or anything like that. Um, whereas in in uh, Kaipi, that still needs to be worked on. I mean, well, I don't know. We don't have a sponsor or anything like that, so we're not really a professional team, to say, I guess. Does everyone have a good enough attitude to work on that? Or are, are your teammates going to be offended at what you just said? Well, I, I don't think they're going to be offended. They, 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 I mean, I, I told them this, though. So. Um, Dude, you, when, you, when you're around EE, you, you know him enough that he's going to be honest all the time. Like You can't. That's one thing he's uh, taken flack for, one thing he's taken credit for. That's all I have to say. I think everyone knows that they have to improve on that aspect. Right. If they want to be professional Dota players, and they, they do. They, they do want to win it. Just a bad habit. I mean, all Dota players fucking flame each other all the fucking time. Remember Bova one year ago? I remember what? him. Remember the pop, dude, the I, remember you, I remember that game. We, dude, we, dude, we had a match. Now. We had, I think I was ringed for, um, <laughs> I ranked for Dignitas. And Eternal Envy was playing, he was safe playing Panda. And we had like a brood mid. Do you remember that game, E? No, I don't. What are you talking about? We were, we played a match, and I, w I was ringing for you guys, and you were playing too. And I was remember when you were having your little stint with Dignitas, bottom bottom. You were safe with Panda that. versus Darkseer, and I was I was uh, I was playing support Enchantress. Right, oh well. God, I remember that Enchantress. I remember, remember Bobo playing Enchantress. Oh, I just remember really you playing really Enchantress. Really God. Really remember that game? Dude, I remember. I I'm telling you right now. If you ask me any match I've ever played, and I'll I'll remember it for the past a year. Oh, this, I, this is so easy. Like everyone what? wants to say it, but no one will say it. What is it? Are you gonna bet me? No. That's, That's all not I can what say. I'm saying. Oh. Jack, Jackie, how's your? Uh... Ah! Yeah, you are. You're such a clown, dude. You you are such a clown. I know what you're gonna. Say. <laughs> Jackie, how's your role transition going? How's it playing oh. the one role? Uh, it's, it's okay. I think the one role is... I mean, I mean, when I started playing Dota, I decided that in order to, to have the highest chance of joining a good team, or just understand the game in general, I would have to be able to play every role. And when I first started, I did... It was just pubs, but I mean, I, I did like literally pick support like 40 times in a row. Then I picked carry 40 times in a row. And I would do every role. So. And when I, when I was in NTH, not only did I improve on support, I had to watch replays of everyone. I had to watch Trixie's first person VOD. I mean, I mean, I was trying to help everyone learn their roles as well. So for me to play a new role isn't, um, I mean, I know what to do. I just have to get the experience factor in. So it's, it's going pretty well so far. I still do stupid shit all the time. Mm. So E, how did you go from being level five Rasta 20 minutes in Waiting for Loda to form your stacks to 22 and 1 Ursa 50 minutes in. Apparently it's 27. Oh. Wait, what do you say, 27? Well, I, I went from so. uh, selecting the Rasta hero to selecting the Rasta hero. Do you make your Rasta heroes on your team do that for you? <laughs> <laughs> do you go Depends from. On the game. Depends on the game. Christ. Do you go from. Spartacus to Biotis. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You're such a fucking clown, Sam. You're such Sorry. a fucking clown. Whatever. He's been, watching, he's been watching Spartacus. Dude, there's this freaking... There's this freaking image of, of Loda and uh, E. Like, E carrying a chariot of Loda. That's why that reminded me of that. It's because that's... 
No, it's because Spartacus is all you've been watching for the last week. You message me every time titties show up on that show, and then you post the link. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a sick show. can tell it's so true. Look at him. <laughs> you've got issues, Charlie. You, you have got issues. <laughs> <laughs> we've got issues Charlie. oh man anyways I guess the last question on here is is Envy how do you feel about I guess the the trade off for, for you and EGM and the alliance's recent success uh, um, I don't know it's a pretty big question but I think um what that team needed when I was getting, when I got kicked honestly I think if me and EGM were to switch, switch places right now there's a possibility nothing will happen to that team. I just think um, what that team needed back then was a mood change. And, um, I mean, the passion wasn't as high or anything like that. And when they got a new member on the team, when S4 started becoming the captain, um, just they got a better, they got into a better mood. They started practicing more, practicing with more focus. And that's why they are where they are now. I also think that, um, I mean, I got kicked not like when I was captain. I didn't get kicked when I was captain. I got kicked after S4 already started becoming captain. And we already had some good games against... Uh, I mean, we, the first e EMS uh, tournament where we won, I, mean, I was part of that. It, I mean, people say, oh, they won all these EMS after you left, but I mean, we already won one before I left, so... I mean, before I got kicked. Um, back then, S4 was already doing the picks. I think the um, decision was rushed because EGM probably had to... He was probably getting rushed on a contract of um, QPAD, which is why I was uh, um, kicked very fast. But I really do think that Alliance is really... The, the player's skill didn't get improved after, after I kicked or anything like that. And the players on that team never complained about my skill. Um, I really do think it's just their play style and their attitude towards the game changed. Like the mood, everything just changed. Good shit. I got no follow-up. I think that's good. Um, we wanted to talk about <clears throat> this Rubik idea last week, but we didn't have a show, so let's talk about it this week. Someone on Reddit suggested that Rubik's stolen spells um, would be different colored, like green colored. Um, I think they're already like that. Huh? No. Well, no, no, like, no, they're not. Like well, if you if so you steal, like if you steal look at the stream right now. If you steal like Darkseer's wall and then you cast it, it won't look the same as his. It'll be green. Well, someone today stole my overpower when I was playing Ursa, and he fucking was whole. His, his entire hero was green. So I don't know. I thought I was already like that. Like today. Can anyone confirm I this? I don't think Vov has made any changes. Right? I'm There's pretty sure that's in... that sounds like a random bug. Um, but what what do you guys think about that? Uh, it could be implemented so that like only your team sees the different color, or that both teams see the different color. Um, but how would that affect the gameplay, Sam? Mm, I'm not I'm not big on this whole uh, thing. I think it's it's whatever. I don't think it matters much. Really, you never get confused by multiple walls or rocks running around. Oh, I, I, I once the time I I didn't know a wall was up and I ran in, I ran into yeah. it and died. Yeah, but all right. That was that was that wasn't because I was confused about the wall. That was because I was buying something on, on the in the secret shop, and I would like tunnel vision that. There was a wall in the secret shop. <laughs> no, we, we won a fight and then uh, I, I walked through a wall and then I died. I think it's more important for new players, right? Because the same spells can get really confusing. Yeah. So if if um. If they went through with that change, and let's say everyone saw the different color, if anything, that's probably a little bit of a nerf to Rubik. Um, but how big of a deal is it? Like, is that an okay nerf? Because he gets picked plenty as is. Would that really change his strength? Um, I think it's a nerf in some situations. But um, well, first of all, I don't actually like this um sh this change if they were to do it because I think they're making Dota too easy. I mean, a little bit too easy. Um. Do you really think and, that would decrease the mechanical skill count? Yes. Different colors. I mean, there, there, there are some things like when you play Rubik. Sometimes I, I play a hero. I used to play a hero a lot. Um, sometimes you dodge your own firefly. And so, I mean, um, 
your teammate doesn't know which firefly is yours, yeah. and they just start dying to it. I, I, I remember once uh, three of my teammates died to a firefly that, I mean, literally the, t the team fight was completely over, and they all three of them died to a firefly because they thought it was mine. So it sometimes can change a lot. Um, and I mean, if the colors were changed, you would no longer have to focus on things like that. I mean, you have to pay attention when a wall gets thrown down, whether it's yours or your teammates. So, it, it will change the mechanical skill somewhat. Anyone else care either way? It could be kind of pretty. It'd be cool I as think a it spectator. Does look really cool. They could just do it for spectators only, then it changes nothing, and we get to see that. But it's so much more fun when you see people die into your own fly, uh, fire, and they're like, what the fuck's going on? And stuff like, and you know, and then the, and then well, the cast are figure, just, figuring out. It's more fun to like a pro, but like to 95% uh, of the audience that doesn't know what's going on, I think it'd be a lot better. And I think that at some point you do need to focus on the majority of the crowd, especially if you're taking a look at something that's only for spectators, not for players. Mm. All right. Um, shots fired time. We got a few shots in before, but... Um, uh, I threw all my shots out early. Did you? Yeah. Does anyone have a shot they want to fire? In before any, like, jizz jokes about that. <laughs> sure, shots fired at Sam for flaming IXDL people on RTZ stream. Do I get no music clip with that? No. Some, really? Somebody else is probably playing that. I but should get a music we, clip. We might that. play it later. Oh, don't. He, he said not to. Well, we should respect that. Should we? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. All right, Sam. What about Sam. our audio listeners? The podcast listeners, Sam. They don't know what's up. Everyone's talking about it in chat, and everyone else is listening to it. No, thank you, guys. All right. All right. Um, shots fired. Uh, actually, uh, E can do his first. Shots fired. E. <laughs> can, you can call someone out if you want for anything. I'm gonna call guys. Hey E, you're getting targeted by Sam in the next one. That's why he told you to do yours first. Yeah, I'm Just not keep targeting. Keep that in e. mind. Just keep that in mind when you shots fired Sam back first preemptively. Or or maybe out. maybe he's saving his. In case you shots fired him, how about how about the, are you gonna shots fire Loda? <laughs> no. I don't have much of shots fired. I actually Loda think uh, Loda is pretty good. How about S four? No, nothing. How, how about blow your brain? I I know you had some shots fired on him. Uh yeah, I had, shot, I had some shots on his uh, Nyx before. Say say it. But just say it. <laughs> I mean, say say it, it, buddy. I remember in the, was it in the star ladder? I think he used rage and hit the racks, and he didn't run away before the rage ran out, and he just kept hitting the racks, and he got screwed in and died. So, I mean, that's all I remember. His bad rage on Nyx. Christ. All right, Sam, it's your turn now. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is so hard, dude. There's like, it's not. It's so hard to find a specific shots fired. <laughs> Come on, oh. Sam. I, I know you have one in you. It's just whether or not you want to bring it out. Come um, on, Sam. I can see it on your face. Dude, it is it is so hard to find a shot fired right now. Are you picking between two? Or three? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I can't think of a shot fired. It's it's hard to like point something. The Dito's thing is like, uh, whatever. The G1 I know, is let's like... I don't know. I already, I already fired my shots at G1. I'm pissed at that tournament. Um, shots fired. To, not sure, dude. It's too hard. That's so disappointing. Right. We'll let you off the hook. Is that what you want? Yeah, I can't think of any. Okay. Um, my my shot is at us for running 23 minutes late and holding up the ATOD tournament. But that's all right. Um, let's go around and do some shout-outs here. Uh, let's start with Eternal Envy. You got any shout-outs? Uh, RTZ. Clairvoyance. Uh, the furthest new, my stream. If there are one, my stream viewers. That's it. All right, Monolith. 
uh, shout out to you know first I, I want to give a shout out to to Mojo Storms out in KZZ for for ringing and they played amazing and I want to give a shout out to uh, Keypad um, Sing Sing and all those guys because they were really mannered when we got DDoS today like super mannered so and those guys are really awesome and then uh, and, wait wait and Waga has the most fantastic jokes. And that Waga joke was has... pretty damn funny. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to Waga's I jokes. I died. Yeah, shout out to, to Waga's jokes. And uh, Team Dignitas, they gave us a new VPN, so hopefully this shit doesn't happen again. And all our sponsors, um, Intel, Alienware, Antec, Kingston, QPAD, uh, Creative Labs, um, Scan, Western Digital, Killer and Twitch and the um. Are you gonna tell the viewers what the joke was? Oh, isn't so there? A, August I, joke? I think the image is. In, well, I'll just say it's oh. for, for the audio viewers as well, right? So there was a DDoS on Fog and Snake. So while I was waiting, I'm like, "Hey, Waga, tell me a joke." He just said, "My farm," and gave me a smiley face. Mm. Oh yeah, I saw that screen. Just cute. <laughs> yeah, boots only, like twenty minutes. No, no, not bad. He had like 20 <laughs> CS or something, right? <laughs> that was hey, funny. he had a cause of attack. He had a cause of attack, man. He did. All right, Kurt, shout outs. Um, well, I think Charlie has mentioned most of the Team Dignitas sponsors, but you guys can follow me on Twitter at a underscore 2000, and I also stream at twitch.tv slash a underscore 2000. And yeah. Oh, yeah, and I guess I should give an additional for Alienware because they give us new laptops and their beasts. You can like stream from anywhere and everything, so that would be really helpful. Awesome, Sam. Um, special shout out to the the Dewey on doing the forms. <laughs> uh, the guy who called no, out Ali. Yeah, shots fired. There's yeah, you can What there are you doing, Sam? Fired. Shots fired to AUI. <laughs> Toby, I know you love to have competitive Man. players for the inside, and I love your cast for this. But AOI is definitely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mute my mic during eating. Because yeah, when Dad told me the to mic. Eat, I, did I really burp in the mic? Christ. Yeah, That's I what this guy said. Oh. You have a hater. Yeah, hey, you're playing that sound clip, or I'm going to play it right now. Dude, come on, dude. You shots fired for me for flaming. Like, are you like, going to be a dick? Well, that was part of my shots fired, but you pussied out and you wouldn't let anyone play it. But whatever. Uh, shout out to um, this guy. And shout out to our, our tour, the, the the next guy, the champion of Capua. Shout out to. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to um. What else is there? Oh, my my sponsor, uh, and my team. It's Razor Barracuda, and um, Shiny Things, Twitch. And then uh, shout out to um, Alan. And yeah, that should be it. And uh, Brian Chapman, Chappy, that's gonna go against my thing. All right. Um, oh, go, go ahead. What? You got another one? Uh, I think so. I, I don't have. I'm, I'm, I'm done. All right. I'll give an additional shout out to Arteezy. You can watch his stream and Bulba's raging shenanigans at Twitch.tv/Arteezy. Um, right after this show. You can watch Join Dota's ATOD 3 qualifiers. The American teams will go at it in a 5v5 only mid same hero match. So that should be fun. Um, I want to give a shout out to Mott for producing this. You can follow me at Spitwad and we will be back here next week, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern as always. Thanks a lot, guys. Had a way down.
Radiant Stop structures playing. are fortified. Thought he was gonna disrupt first. Shut the fuck up and stun him, you fucking idiot! If I fucking call you to stun him, you fucking stun him, moron. 